Welcome to BioScholar. In today's video, I will talk about plant genetic resources and their conservation. Plant genetic resources can be defined as the economic, scientific or societal value of the heritable materials contained within and among species, or any genetic material of plant origin of actual or potential value for food and agriculture. Conservation of plant genetic resources. Plant genetic resources conservation is actually, the maintenance of germplasm, in such a state, that minimizes the risk of loss, and allows either is direct planting in the field, or its preparation of planting with relative case. The very objective of germplasm conservation, or storage, is to preserve the genetic diversity of a particular plant or genetic stock for its use at any time in the future. Many new plant species with desired and improved characteristics have started replacing the primitive and conventionally used agricultural plants in recent years. It is important to conserve the endangered plants or else some of the valuable genetic traits present in the primitive plants may be lost. A global body namely the International Board of Plant Genetic Resources has been established for germplasm conservation. Its main objective is to provide the necessary support for the collection, conservation, and utilization of plant genetic resources throughout the world. Methods of Plant Genetic Resources Conservation There are two approaches for the conservation of plant genetic resources. First one is in situ conservation and the second is ex situ conservation. In situ conservation. In situ conservation is method that involves protection of plant genetic resources or germplasm in their natural habitats. It involves protection of endangered species and helps in recovering populations in the surroundings, where they have developed the distinct features. This approach is particularly useful for preservation of land plants in a near natural habitat, along with several wild relatives with genetic diversity. The in situ conservation is considered as a high priority germplasm preservation program. And it can be established by national parks and biosphere reserves. National parks are the areas that are dedicated to the conservation of biological diversity. They are supported by some legal or effective means to achieve long term conservation of ecosystem and the natural services. A number of threatened and endangered species are preserved in the national parks. Second type of in situ conservation is biosphere reserve. Biosphere reserves are the larger area that are designated for the conservation and sustainable use of natural biodiversity. They may be terrestrial or coastal environments. They are international recognized areas and provide viable and conservative solutions for biodiversity. Although in situ conservation can serve the plant genetic resources in their natural state, but it has certain limitations. The major limitations are, the risk of losing germplasm due to environmental hazards, and the cost of maintenance of a large number of genotypes is very high, etc. The second major approach for the conservation of plant genetic resources is ex situ conservation. It is the conservation method, in which plant genetic resources are preserved outside the native habitat. When a species is unable to conserve in the natural state, then scientists use ex situ conservation methods. It involves placing of threatened animals and plants in special care unit for their protection. It helps in recovering populations or preventing their extinction under stimulated conditions that closely resemble their natural habitats. It is the chief method for the preservation of germplasm obtained from cultivated and wild plant materials. Ex situ conservation includes gene bank and botanical garden. Gene bank refers to a place or organization where germplasm can be conserved in living state. They are also known as germplasm banks. The genetic materials in the form of seeds or from in vitro cultures like plant cells, tissues or organs can be preserved as gene banks for long-term storage under suitable conditions. For successful establishment of gene banks, adequate knowledge of genetic structure of plant populations, and the techniques involved in sampling, regeneration, maintenance of gene pools etc. are essential. Different types of gene bank are seed gene bank, and field gene bank. 
Seed gene bank is a place where germplasm is conserved in the form of seeds. Usually, seeds are the most common and convenient materials to conserve plant germplasm because many plants are propagated through seeds, and seeds occupy a relatively small space. Further, seeds can be easily transported to various places. Field gene banks also called plant gene banks. These are the areas of land in which germplasm collections of growing plants are assembled. Botanical gardens. A botanical garden or botanic garden is a garden dedicated to the collection, cultivation and display of a wide range of plants labeled with the botanical names. It may contain specialist plant collections such as tropical plants, or other species of plants. They are often run by universities or other scientific research organizations, and often have associated herbaria and research programmers in plant taxonomy or some other aspect of botanical science. For more concepts don't forget to subscribe to Bioscholar and also press the bell icon to get timely notification of every new video. Thanks for watching.